So this is the Age Cycles Enduro event. Let's talk through what an Enduro event is. It's a series of different stages which are timed. You then have to make it back to the start of the next stage ready to go again. So it's like a downhill race, but there are many different stages, more like WRC, I suppose, in a way, or rally cars. You time your stage via the timing chip. That's then submitted into the overall times. Today consists of four individual stages of which your two fastest times of each stage count towards your overall time. You can ride the stages as many times as you like and in whichever order you like as well. I've currently done all four stages, one of each. I didn't do them in order. I think I did stage one, then I did three, then two, then four. For no other reason than just followed a few people, followed a group of people that were doing it as well. It's a massive push back to the top of the hill. Oh, I can take the camera with me. So my debut enduro event after the cotton burner earlier in the year, and it is hilarious fun. Check out the view in a minute. Start of one of the stages and then just over there, the fast off camber section. See Brunel's bridge in the background at some point. Way over there to the gray of Plymouth. I am seven runs in. So I did four practice laps, went back to the van, had some food. So that's one practice lap on each. I'm now two laps in on stage one. I can't get that one right at all. There's a, a line of small jumps. Jumps really are not my thing. But there are bigger ones at this event. I just can't get these little ones right at all. So there we go. That is that. Uh, stage two. One lap down. Next lap coming up. Stage two is nice. You've got a really fast run in. Then it's technical in the woods. I am uh, quite happy with how I'm riding. I feel good. What is apparent though is you really need to pace yourself on a day like today. Because quick and still. I don't know what it looks like on the camera. My goodness me. Context, claggy, bike's covered in mud, the mud sticks to the bike, and it must be a good 40%. But it's good, everyone you meet is real social, really happy to be here. And I'm very much enjoying it as well. This is stage one, it's dried out quite a bit. Which is good. And then you'll see what I mean about a big push to the top. See, as it's all getting blown out of it, a little bit less support in the corners. Make sure you stay high. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Oh. The big thing you notice is just managing any energy levels between stages is really important. You know, when should you pedal? When should you walk? When to eat, drink? It's good. It's like a whole different discipline to break down, analyze, work out where you can go fast, save time, energy, make it count. Okay, this is proving to be a lot harder than I was expecting. Physically, it's seriously demanding. We've done over 900 meters of climbing. I'm three runs deep into each stage now. Two of them timed as the chip wasn't activated before I set off on the first laps. I'm currently third in the elites, which is good until you consider there are only three of us and um, fourth out of everyone that's currently finished or registered at least two times. So that's good, that's better news. I'm gonna go and do one more lap of each. Gonna have a little bit of food, try and get rid of the shakes. I'm also toying with the idea of actually wearing the chin bar, which is something I've never done before. We'll see. We shall see. Maybe that's the, uh, the secret to some faster times that I've been looking for. Go 
going to a party and being wildly overdressed this is. Here we are again. Hiya. This is lap number 16. <laughs> four or three or four. Sorry, I'll go three this time. Uh, I'll go down in the video. Come in. There we go. Pedal right, across the top. Into the headwind. definitely reached the level of fatigue now where I don't think I can beat my performances but it does feel like the tracks are getting faster and that's quite a quite a decision to make then if you do one more on each in 45 minutes it's going to be a push to do that a real squeeze or we just accept that it is what it is and be happy yeah yeah you can feel me <laughs> nice one right? Stage four, you can you can't see the view from there, but it's amazing. Right, it's a really cool, really cool place. Two time runs coming up. It's good. I uh, I was looking on the internet a minute ago for the updated times because I felt that I went down there better that time. Right. I was just thinking, like, do I need to do extra runs or not? This will be run number seventeen. Adam said sixteen, so if I've done seventeen, that's good. Right. Have a good one. Thank you. where I wonder don't push as much you ride a little bit better that'll be faster shoulder on the street what an amazing introduction to gravity focused mountain bike racing it's super social if you want it to be or it's super competitive if you want. It's like the ideal mixture of com competition and fun. Let's go to the podium. <laughs> right, see. right, in second place, Adam Lock. Right. And in first place, Tom Dunn. Well done. Woo!
Elitists, look at them all. Right on. Time to head home. Third in the elite, fifth fastest overall. What is it? 40, no, 32 seconds slower than first place. So over eight times segments, eight times stages. Quite happy with that. Really just a thoroughly enjoyable thing to do and a serious workout. Average heart rate for four and a half hours was 150. Only did 20 something kilometers and it was something like 1300 meters of climbing, which doesn't happen very often. Very tired, but what a perfect start to winter time here in the UK.